Hey there, Jeff Manchester, Manchester Music. I thought I'd do something different this video, and that's return to an old form on this channel, which is a let's plug video. So I used to do a lot of plugin kind of reviews, walkthroughs and stuff like that. Um, and one came across my brain by a company called Corneth Audio. And I was listening to Bobby Ozinski's uh, podcast, which you should listen to if you don't, called The Inner Circle. Run, don't walk to check that out. And this guy came on from Corn F Audio, and he was just like really funny and smart. And I got interested in the plugins. I wanted to check them out. So I have them. They only make two. They make a talkback limiter emulation plugin and a um, kind of pawn shop compressor. Um, they're both really interesting and unique. I haven't explored them too much, and that's what I want to do in this video is kind of get into them and explore them and understand what's going on and how they sound. I've set up a uh, drum kind of kit from Superior Drummer 3 by Toontrack, and I also have um, a pretty normal-sounding bass to kind of round things out so we can try things on the drums and the bass. Let's start first with the talkback limiter, which is the one that I heard about the most, and this is the limiter that is heavily involved in the Phil Collins drum sound. I probably don't have to tell you what that is. You already know when I say the Phil Collins drum sound. Um, Michael Jackson records, the whole thing. Let's try it first on the drums, which by the way, sound like this. you can tell, maybe you can't, if I go over here to the microphone section in the mixer uh, tab, we don't have any effects kind of enabled. This is pretty, this is just really well recorded drums uh, from TuneTrack. So nothing going on. Let's add the compressor here. Uh, let's just imagine we're grouping the tracks. So we're going to put them on the entire group itself. So we'll go over here. Let's go to the talkback limiter. So here it is. Again, I have not played with this too much. I have never used a talkback limiter. This is clearly emulated from uh, an SSL console. Um, but we see here a pretty scrappy looking plugin, which is kind of cool um, and not like a super flat kind of Ableton live looking thing. This is very much skeuomorphic. This is based on the design of the original thing. If you click here um, on this piece of, I guess, masking tape, you get access to the presets, which is kind of cool. So you have bass, drums, guitar, percussion, vocals, and you can kind of move around from there. But what I want you to hear is just the sound of this thing when you just throw it on something, you get instant kind of vibe. So I'll turn it off and turn it on. So obviously we're getting uh, level, right? That's kind of making us think that this sounds amazing because it's on there. So let's just back off a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna do that by reducing some of the makeup gain a little bit here until we have a nice before and after. So right off the bat, lots of vibe, lots of character. Let's click around and play with things. I haven't explored this too much, so we're going to kind of do this together. Uh, so we've already touched on the makeup gain. By the way, I love any plugin where you double click and you return things to default. That's what you can do here, which is wonderful. We have blend of dry and wet. I'm assuming this takes into account everything before all the processing before you hit the dry wet knob. So you're bringing everything in and out. We'll see if that's actually true though. So uh, this should be everything off. So the line and mic, I think this just adds some extra gain. Let's see if that is true. Yes, yes it does. I'm gonna turn that down and get a Band-Aid for my ear. I mean, but that's a vibe right there, isn't it? That's like something different. This could be like your dirt track that you put under your other track and you just kind of blend it in very carefully to add some extra girth to everything. All right. 
So analog, I think this is basically going from linearity to nonlinearity. This is going to add some harmonic saturation. In my headphones, which you should be using to listen, not mine, because they're mine, yours, you should probably hear a bit of a, a warmth. It's such a dumb word, but... A glue, if you will. Let's listen to the listen mic. This almost feels like uh, you're kind of bypassed, right? heard about these rails up here uh, I've heard that they add distortion I want to see if that's true let's kind of return things to a default state here factory reset okay okay that's not doing anything I guess it's just phantom power or something yeah, there we go one of the things I really like about this plugin is just everything can be pushed and played with which is kind of cool it's a bit like a video game like you're going to explore the entire area even though you know you got to go from a to b you're going to flip over it like zelda flip over all the rocks and press all the buttons and jump on all the things and so it's kind of cool that you're rewarded for a little bit of exploration here It sounds terrible, but like maybe that's what you want. Um, and I know that if we click on this, we get access to the kind of guts of this thing, which this is a little bit beyond my scope of understanding. I'm, I've never been one to buy analog gear, uh, especially open it up and try to mess with things. But let's just play with some of the stuff that we can play with here. Like the sound of that. So this is the low pass filter adjustment that dictates what the compressor is going to react to in the signal. Before. Looks like I can, oh, this is great. I can just increase the viewing space here of the GUI, which is nice, especially for these little dials. Okay, let's explore, oh wow, this is really big. Let's explore some of the presets here and then we'll try it on the uh, base and then we'll see what that sounds like. I'm gonna move my monitor away here because it's causing a little bit of friction in the speakers. All right, so let's go back, let's reset factory default and now let's try some of the drum presets it kind of sucks that they're cut off here at the side i wonder if i were to go back into here and increase the ui if those text uh, little pieces would scale here <laughs> they don't <laughs> oh well analog warmth So I guess that's just kind of activating this like analog button here. Let's go for something a bit more dramatic. There we go. Call maintenance. Let's try uh, Parallel King. You know what? I bet I have to get a a send set up for this. Let me do that now because it's parallel, right? Let's send it to bus one. Cool. All right, let's start sending some signal. Right there. Sounds better. I 
I mean, you can hear that kind of Phil Collinsy sound right away. Um, but the nice thing is it, it's not like a one trick pony. You can go in a bit deeper and play with it. And again, exploration is really encouraged, I think, which is kind of cool. Um, let's hear what this sounds like on, uh, if my trackpad wants to cooperate, let's hear what this sounds like on the bass, which sounds like this. All right, pretty boring. See that right there? We already have some vibe. Right there, instant vibe. Let's try some of the presets here, just because that's what I gravitate to. and kind of, um, I want to say thwacky, which is kind of a weird word, but you get that kind of like thwack of the bass. And this might sound kind of funny on its own, but once you incorporate this into a mix, I bet it might only help articulate the bass a little bit more. In fact, let's, let's take this preset and let's um, add it into the drums here and do a little before and after. <laughs> sounds like something's oscillating in the background a little bit i don't know what it is but it, there's something there's some motion there in the back which is kind of cool um let's keep going to another couple of presets here it says basic but that sounds pretty good to me underneath here and just play with some of the distortion trim. Fet bias, no idea what that means, but of course we want to play with it. Let's hear it in the mix. sounds really good it just sounds really good that's all i gotta say um another couple of presets why not take that decapitator rock rock bass This just sounds really, this is fun. It's fun to play with the plugin um, and not get so kind of in your head about frequencies and, you know, cutoffs and stuff. It's just like, just just play with a plugin. Let's try the Pawn Shop Bass, sorry, Pawn Shop Bass, the Pawn Shop Compressor. I'm gonna take both of these guys off and let's go to the Pawn Shop Comp 2. I guess this is the second iteration generation of this plugin. All right, let's go here. This is what it looks like. Um, again, very, <laughs> it almost looks like if Pixar or Toy Story designed a compressor in like one of their shows, like it might look like this, these big red dials and stuff. Um, that's not a knock. It's just kind of funny. Um, let's try it first on the drums and see what it's doing on the drums. And again, this is, I think less the kind of Phil Collins talk back limiter sound, uh, and more probably something else. I, I'm not really sure. Let's find out what it is. Um, want to make sure I'm actually on. Yeah, I am. Okay. 
So let's do what you got to do to get some action here. Bring the threshold down. Okay, so we have auto makeup gain, which is pretty standard. And you can actually see the millisecond values of the attack and probably the releases. Yeah, there we go, which is kind of nice. Holy crap, this goes all the way to 50 to 1. Jeez. So that is really kind of punchy and thwacky, I feel. Let's do a little before and after, unless there's a bypass button I don't. Oh, it's probably the power button. Yeah. So it looks like we have to use a bit of a bit ex a bit of extra output trim to kind of make sure that we get the difference here. Yeah. See again, if you click on the the label, then you get access to the guts of the machine. Uh, here's my output trim. Okay. Still a little bit of a disparity between the before and the after there level-wise. All right, let's just keep playing around and not worry about level matching. Um, again, double-click. Oh, I love that. Double-click to return to default. Beautiful. So let's play around a bit more in the guts of this thing. Wait. Okay, this is basically your tone kind of area. This, I guess, emphasizes the sound of the preamp in decibels, not really sure. Is. We can pick the resistor types <laughs> and the transistor types. Okay. That's kind of cool. So there actually is a difference. Uh, not that there wouldn't be, but you can, a difference you can hear. I like that. We can select the preamp tubes. Kind of like that. Output transformers. Again, this is way beyond my knowledge and understanding of compressors, uh, but I still want to play with it. I kind of like nickel. I don't know why, I just do. Let me bring this a little bigger for y'all, as you might need it. Whoops. Ratio is crazy. Let's make a quick attack. A medium release. Four to one. What is this? I bet this does something. <laughs> what is this? What is this? The screws are moving. Are these ones? No. Okay. I don't know what that's doing but the fact that I can touch it is kind of cool. This, it makes you want to touch everything. It's, all right. Let's just try a couple of presets here. Let's go to drums, one that's a bit more for, yeah, drum bus.
Nice, I feel like that's a nice, just gentle hug. By the way, I'm just doing before and after here in the on button. sets here actually let's go to the bass because basses love compressors even though these guys these loops probably have a bit of compression on them already i can't really help that i don't have like a p bass sitting around here that i can play play well let's go over here nice some before and after here. I'm starting to think this doesn't actually do a, a huge bypass, so I'm going to use this guy over here. Nice. dramatic aggro bass I love that sound clanky bass it is clankier it is like clickier and clankier so yeah it's, it does what it says on the tin Um, my camera is probably going to explode because of how hot it is in here. These are really fun plugins and it's just, it's nice to have fun in a plugin and not to stare into some 64 parametric thing, but just to press some buttons and twiddle some knobs. So, um, these are really reasonably priced as well. I'm going to leave a link in the description, obviously, but like, um, yeah, I have a smile on my face because this is just fun to play with. So check them out, Cornif Audio. Uh, and thanks to them for letting me play with these tools and toys. And thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or maybe you've got a favorite compressor that you love and you want me to know about, let me know in the comments. And as always, take care and stay safe.